Hey y'all, I'm stressed. I truly am so stressed. Um, I just cleaned my whole entire apartment and that didn't even help. I don't even know what's causing me being, well, here's the predicament. I'm gonna tell y'all all my college struggles, even if you don't care, sit down and listen since I need someone to listen. So what's going on is I have three classes left until I graduate with my degree and I have to take all three of these classes. Two of the classes I can't take together, and then the third class is an internship, which is gonna be super hard to do. So I'm like trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure out, oh, should I do one class in summer and then one class in fall and figure it out? Or should I go through my scholarship and just take 15 credits for fall and then finish in spring? I don't know. I don't know. And then I'm also trying to figure out where I'm going to live next year since they're raising my rent a ton. And I'm thinking it would make more sense to move out. There's your little catch up. That's why I'm stressed. I wasn't gonna lay that all on you, but I just had to get that out of my system. I just had to talk about it. Because I'm so stressed, instead of trying to solve all these stressors, trying to clear these out, maybe focusing on one issue and then crossing it off the list. Instead of doing all that, I just thought it would be better if I set aside all of tomorrow and just did like a de-stress day. Just like a little self-care day. Just a day where maybe I go and eat my favorite food. Maybe I go to the store and get some stuff that I've been eyeing but haven't purchased yet. And maybe I'd be able to focus more on these things I need to be focusing on if I was just like a little less stressed. I'm still gonna go to the gym tomorrow, but once I step outside of those gym doors and then come home and take a shower, my self-care day starting. So I'm gonna start the vlog then. So I'm gonna try and go to sleep and then I'll see y'all tomorrow for my self-care day. Happy self-care day. Um, This candle that I just lit, I don't know why the flame's so big. It is a vanilla pumpkin Trader Joe's candle and I've just had a big old stockpile so my apartment can smell like pumpkin all year round. I went to the gym this morning and then I went to Starbucks of course, took a shower, I took extra long doing like my little morning routine, got my hair looking very fluffy and now I'm trying to figure out what should my first move be for this self-care day. Hmm, I'm kind of thirsty, kind of thirsty. Let's go get ourselves a drink. Okay, why that kind of sound like I'm an alcoholic? Let's go to a little place I like to go and let's get a little, it's not soda, it's like flavored water. I'll explain on the way. So we're going to a place called Swig. It's a soda shop. It's a very Utah type thing. They have soda, they got like Dr. Pepper and they'll put like coconut creamer in there, cherry syrup, like all, the, all that type of stuff. But what I really crave at this place is it's water and then it has like peach in it, raspberry, I think it has pineapple in it, and then it has vanilla in it. And it's just like the most refreshing, hydrating drink ever made. And I always get like a 44 ounce of it since I hate the taste of water and I'll drink it. But I just write it off. I'm like, oh, I'm drinking water. It just got some flavor in it, but I'm drinking water. We had like pretty good weather in Utah the past couple days, but all of a sudden today it started snowing this morning. No idea why. It's literally April. Why is it like this? If it snows on my birthday this month, I'll lose it. I'll literally I'll go feral or something. I'll start fighting. I don't know who I'll be fighting. I'll be fighting Mother Nature. I should have wore a sweater. This may look like it's worn, but it's pretty thin material and I am shivering. I got my seat warmer on though. I'm trying to think of any exciting stories that y'all would eat up. Um... I tripped at the gym today. I trip on the stairs at home. Of course I'm gonna trip on the stairs at the gym. Nothing really exciting has been happening, just things that are stressful. Hence why we're doing this self-care day. And I'm already feeling my stress sucked out of my brain. Escaping from my problems and just not even thinking about them, even though that is like harmful behavior, I'm eating it up. I'm just gonna pretend I don't have problems all the time. Hello. Hi. Could I get a 44 ounce The Fighter with light ice? Did you want that with regular water or sparkling? Regular. And then could you put a gummy shark in it? In it? Yeah, sure. Or just on top? So you can eat it. In it. Anything else? Nope, that's it. <laughs> I feel so embarrassed. I've done this twice now. In the kids' drinks, they'll put like little gummies in it. And I think it's so fun, but I'm not ordering a little kids' drink. All those little kid drinks are like green apple flavored. So I get my flavored water and then I'm like, mm, could you put a gummy shark in it? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cold.
so many people were like on February 2nd when the groundhog said we were going to have a longer winter so many people were like that groundhog's lying he was right and he really should have warned us that this winter's gonna last freaking months longer. I would turn on the heater on my car, but then it would mess with the audio of the YouTube video. So I'm freezing for you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm at the window. There you go. Okay, thank you. Okay, that was a good one. thank you so much. Did you hear her say that? that's disgusting? I think they said that while they were putting the little shark in my drink. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Let's take a sip of this drink. Actually, I want to see if how many sharks they put in it. Oh, <gasps> they put two gummy sharks in it. Let's try it out. Oh, okay. In a second, I'm driving. I'm a responsible driver. That just hits the spot. It tastes like a little breath of summer. Like there's no way that has zero sugar in it. It says it does, there's no way. So let's drive back to the apartment and then come up with a little bit of a shopping list. I'm looking for my gummy shark. I think it sunk underneath the ice. I think it sunk to the very bottom. I'm just not seeing it. I thought the gummy shark would float. I think it sunk. I'm gonna go grab my phone and let's make a little list. Things I need for self care slash de-stress day. Number one, I'm, oh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. So good. My favorite currently is strawberry cheesecake. I think I'll get that. Maybe I'll try a different flavor, but probably not. I like consistency. Oh, I wanna get one of those nasal things. Salt saline thing, and it goes through your nose and like just clears like your sinuses and stuff. I wanna try one of those. I never have. Is it called a neti pot? I think it's called a neti pot, but if not, like just any like anything I can snort. I'm gonna get a little face mask maybe. My skin broke out a little bit. Actually, it looks pretty good right now, but probably should get a face mask or something. What else should I get? Hmm. Oh my gosh, I, okay. Yeah, this counts as self-care. This is something I actually need. I need aqua for. I'm gonna show y'all why. Look right here. You can't really even see it, but right here, my skin get so dry and it's only this part in my whole entire body. So I'm gonna purchase some Aquaphor and really I bet it would change my life. Since it gets so dry, like sometimes I lay at night and I'm like, Psh. or this is kind of disgusting, but sometimes if it's so itchy, I'll take like chapstick or something and go like this. Ben and Jerry's neti pot type thing, face mask, aqua four, anything else. I think that's all I need. Probably while I'm out on the town though, I will pick up myself some supper. I could cook myself dinner, but if this truly is a little self-care day, cooking is not something that I do when I'm pleased, if that makes sense. So I'll probably get some takeout on my way back from the store. Let's go do a little Target run. Rats. Oh my gosh, I forgot my drink. I could have been sipping it while I drive. We're almost to Target. I almost went to Walmart, but then talked myself out of it. Walmart's just too big of a store. Like it's too big and there's too much stuff. Target's like a medium store, but it never has exactly what you want. And then Trader Joe's is just a small store that has like literally nothing except like good snacks. Oh my gosh, I want to turn there. Target run. I did that. got the groceries, so we got the nasal spray, we got the aquaphor, we got the watermelon face paint. It says juicy watermelon. I went a little bit overboard on the Ben & Jerry's, I will admit. I got literally four tubs of chocolate, but most of them aren't for me. Maybe two of them are for me. This one I'll probably give to my mom. Since it's this collab I've been waiting for, it is chocolate ice cream with salted caramel swirls, caramel chunks, and sea salt fudge chunks. And I've been waiting for this to be in the store for so long, and then it was finally here, so I I was like, I need to grab three for everyone I know. This is my all-time favorite though. It is strawberry cheesecake and it has strawberry cheesecake ice cream with strawberries and a thick graham cracker swirl. And that graham cracker swirl, <laughs> too good, too good. Let's go get some supper. Oh, my hair is herring today. This took me like 15 minutes to blow dry and it was worth it. It was worth every second. I'm soaking it in. Let's go get some cup bob. It's Korean barbecue. That's what I'm craving right now. That sounds so good. Maybe I'll get a Korean corn dog too. Oh, the sun's coming out. I like to turn my arms like rotisserie chickens. 
so I get like an even tan. One of my goals this year is to tan my feet. Every single year, my feet never get a tan, and then it just looks like I'm wearing socks. Like anytime I'm not wearing socks, it looks like I'm wearing socks because my feet are just outrageously white. So this year, I'm tanning my feet. I am tanning them. I'm gonna I'm I'm get a nice tan on my feet. What song is that? I think that's Bad Bunny. I wish I had Shazam. That sounds familiar. That's gonna bother me all day. <gasps> That's my brother. Wait, the parking lot in front of the restaurant's kinda empty, honestly. That's kinda spooky. Papers. Let's go back and eat this. I'm starving. I'm in the elevator and I just walked in. There's a freaking bagel on the floor. First things first, let's put this aquaphor on. Wanted to do this before I even started eating. Look at that. This is the Korean barbecue I got. This is called rock chicken and it's like breaded chicken and then I got tofu and then it has noodles and then it also has a cabbage rice thing in the bottom. Okay. Something just flew out at me. I'm done trying to mix it. They stuffed it in too tight. This right here, though, is something I've discovered recently. It's just so good. It's called a K-Dog, and it's deep fried sausage and cheese. This one has fruity pebbles on it. It has, I believe, mustard, mayo, and ketchup on it. Sounds like it would be gross. I'm gonna take a bite and just show y'all the inside. It's just too good. And the other side of it, it's a hot dog. I feel my heart palpitate in. I think this had too much cholesterol or something. It's like beaten weird. One thing I love about Korean barbecue is it has these noodles that are see-through. They taste just like regular noodles, but I like how they look plasticky. I am starting to sweat a little bit since this is kind of spicy, but this is hidden the spot. I got extra meat in it and extra rice. So I'm gonna try and space this out a little bit. I don't want to eat it all right now. Look how much sweat is on my upper lip. Just from that. Caucasian. Let's see, what should we do first? I'm feeling like this watermelon mask. Start with a freshly washed face, gently unfold, and adjust over mouth, nose, and eyes. Relax for 10 to 20 minutes. It's a good thing we're washing my face too, since I'm not sure if you can tell, but I am sweating from that chicken. I purposefully didn't get one of those ones that are a paste, you know, where you like rub the paste on and then gotta peel it off. Nothing infuriates me more than that. I can never get all of the paste off. That doesn't smell like watermelon. It does feel juicy. Well, it doesn't feel juicy, it feels slimy. It feels like saliva. Which one's the mouth hole even? Oh, now I see. Hello, Clarice. Set a timer for 20 minutes. I've been meaning to read this book for a year, but I haven't found the time to do it. But since I got 20 minutes where I gotta wear this ding mask. Wait, I'm chewing on it. Tastes like soap. So I'm gonna read it. I got like two or three chapters in. I'm eating this up, honestly. Pretty good. It's very descriptive. Let's tear this off. I can't tell if it like hydrated my face at all. It's just kind of sticky now. I've been wanting to do one of these saline cleanses so bad since I always have a dry nose, like I'm always getting bloody noses. And this prevents nosebleeds, gives you better sleep, and hopefully it'll change my life. I got this bowl, insert tip of nozzle, wait, insert tip of nozzle into one nostril and press down on the textured thing so that a gentle mist coats nasal passages. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to shake it up, but it feels right. <laughs> Let me shake it a little more. <coughs> okay, this is so gross. I'm sorry, y'all. Ew! I didn't see that booger. Ooh! 
It feels like I'm sniffing in 4K. Where was this during my Smarty snorting phase? This is nice. I've been sniffing for about like 10 minutes now. It's kind of like when you brush your teeth and drink water from the water fountain and it's just so like, like your teeth are cold. It feels like that, but in your nose but not like painful. I just got off the phone with my mom, called her, checked in with her, and I'm feeling a lot less stressed. Honestly, I am. I guess it could be since I got everything I possibly wanted today. If <laughs> That sneeze was in 4K too. That was such a pleasant sneeze. Honestly, reading my book's been my favorite part of the day. It, it wasn't even eating that food. It wasn't even getting this drink. Just reading that book, like all of a sudden my mind got a lot quieter and I could focus on something. And my mind's always jumping around, always. And it was nice just to focus on the book and not worry about anything else. Usually I read like 10 minutes every day, but maybe like a full hour reading a book. Not only would it educate me more, but it's just nice. I say reading's back. You heard it here first, y'all. Reading's back in style. That was too much fun. Okay, I'm feeling like ice cream. I want ice cream. Should I have the strawberry cheesecake or should I try this caramel one? I'm gonna do strawberry cheesecake. That sounds a lot like cleaner than chocolate. Chocolate and caramels sounds a little bit too rich. This is my favorite part. Just like unsticking the lid from the ice cream. Uh, that looks so good. Okay, never mind. This is better than reading. See the graham cracker swirls in it? Mmm. It truly is the best. The strawberry is not even my favorite part. It's literally the graham cracker. I'm gonna put the lid on this. I want to try the other one I got. I almost keep grabbing every single time I come up to my freezer. I almost grab this dang Hidden Valley Ranch ice cream that I bought a while ago. It's so freaking gross. I haven't thrown it away yet. I don't know why. I should have thrown it away like weeks ago. We're just gonna try a couple bites of this. I just couldn't leave y'all on that tip of your toes wondering what this one tastes like. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. I just got a peek of it. Look at that caramel river right there. Let's just get a bite of this. Oh, oh my gosh. There's so many chunks. That is good. I kind of wish it had more salt, but that is pretty dang delectable. I would give this an 8.5 out of 10, but that strawberry cheesecake, I'd, I'll give that a 10. This is good though. If you like chocolate ice cream, you'll like this more than me, but it's pretty solid. I'm putting the lid on. I'm gonna try and get this to last me a um, couple weeks. I was opening my window to use it as lighting. I just look like that dang striped girl. Comment down below what you do for your self-care days or just like what you do for your self-care five minutes of the day even. Like for five minutes if you play with your yo-yo. Whatever y'all do to relax, comment down below since I definitely want to find some more stuff that would soothe my nerves and help me concentrate, help me focus. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. False alarm, the vlog's not over yet. I just drank all my drink. Look at, oh. Look at the baby sharks. Let me fish one out. Baby shark doo doo. Those are gross.